number 19 in your classroom for properties of parallelograms. We want to find all the missing variables. So we're going to use some of the properties of parallelograms. We're going to say that opposite sides are congruent, meaning that they'll have the same uh, length measure. So we can set uh, 10 equal to uh, 2 thirds y. Multiplying by 3, divided by 2, we'll get 3 times 10 over 2 uh, equals y. So we have 30 over 2, which gives us uh, y of 15. And now we can do the same for the opposite uh, pair of sides. We can set 2x plus 7 equal to 6x minus 5. Moving like terms on to the same sides. Uh, so adding a 5, adding a 5, and subtracting a 2x, subtracting 2x, we have 12 equals 4x. Dividing by 4, we have x equals 3. And uh, moving on to uh, double, uh, so finding w, we have that opposite uh, angles of parallelograms are congruent, so we can set 112 degrees equal to 5w plus 2. Uh, subtracting 2, we have 110 is equal to 5w. And dividing by 5, dividing by 5, we get that w is equal to uh, 22. So if w is 22, uh, then we're left with only uh, to find z. Uh, and so when we have uh, these pair of uh, angles that are uh, located next to each other, if they're consecutive angles, then they're uh, supplementary given by our theorem. So that means that uh, we can set 180 degrees equal to 112 degrees plus uh, 5z plus 3 degrees. Uh, and so we have uh, 180 degrees equals uh, 112 plus 3 is uh, 115 degrees plus 5z degrees. Uh, subtracting 115, we get that we have uh, 65 degrees equals 5z. And dividing by 5, dividing by 5, we get that z is equal to uh, 13 degrees. So we have z as our missing uh, variable, last as uh, 13.